Sportsman's Adventures is presented by Yamaha. Only a mama could love that mouth. Bringing home the snapper. That's what Florida is famous for. Whether it's a super high-priced tournament like the final sale in Key West, or just a weekend dolphin tournament. There are divisions for all types of anglers to compete in. Aside from the typical entry division, there are usually opportunities for ladies, youth, and even peewee anglers to compete amongst themselves. Waiting to get a visual here. Once again, this is, gotta get a picture of him just so everybody knows. Maybe he'll jump. Gotta get a photo. You can barely see him swimming. There he is right there. Hold him there, Rob. You can't really see him. It'd be nice to get a better picture of him. Not really, you just see him swimming. Barely in the camera here. There's too much white water right there. Come on. There he is. Yep, I got him. Swatting his bill. That's our first fish of the day right there. Good job, Sandra. Good job, everybody. Come on. There One he is. yellow. One yellow. One yellow. Good job, John. Way to go, everybody. But there are many teams that have professional crew members on board as well. There may be two captains on a ship as well as mates that fish up and down the eastern seaboard on a full-time basis. These teams are investing in big money tournaments for big money payouts. That's our fish that just jumped there. That wasn't a real clear picture, man.
nothing like finding out you just won. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Old number seven wins the tournament and collects the big check. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Rapala. Catch the latest at rapala.com. Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Okuma. Inspired Fishing. And Startron. Cures and prevents fuel problems. Master your most challenging offshore experience with confidence and ease with Yamaha Helmmaster. Precise, intuitive control on the open sea. Unrivaled ease for maneuvering and docking in port. And now Setpoint adds three new dimensions to boat control. Maintain boat position with fish point. Or a position and heading with stay point. Or a heading while you drift with drift point. Yamaha Helmmaster. Now with Setpoint. Complete digital control for today's larger offshore boats. As close as you're gonna get to a sure thing for catching billfish is Guatemala. They're here, man. This has been a 20 year run, buddy. These things haven't left, there's no cycle. When it comes to sail fishing, this is the real deal. The amount of sailfish here is ridiculous. Building Conservation Trust, or BCT, is Coastal Conservation Association's national habitat program. BCT is striving to be the largest program of its kind in the United States by restoring degraded habitats, creating new habitats, advancing the science of coastal habitat and marine fisheries conservation, fostering habitat stewardship, and educating coastal communities of the value of conservation. Visit www.buildingconservation.org to learn more on how you can make a difference. Thanks for watching Sportsman's Adventures. You can catch all the happenings, contests, and appearances by visiting us on sportsmansadventures.com. There you can find us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, but best of all, you never have to miss a show because you can find full episodes of Sportsman's Adventures along with tips and techniques, bonus clips, and even some bloopers. Also, if there's a product that we use during the show, that you would like more information on, you can find links to our sponsors at the bottom of the home page. There are many lighthouses that are scattered among the east coast of the United States, but the highest concentration of those lighthouses stretch from Key Largo to Key West. Before Florida officially became the part of the United States, deep drafting ships would attempt to travel in between the Gulf Stream and the reefs that line the Florida Keys. Many got too close and ran aground. Soon after Florida became the 27th state in 1845, Congress approved the construction of lighthouses up and down the east coast of the Keys. All in all, there are six lighthouses of various sizes and construction types. Starting in the north is the Carries Fort Reef. Then, as you head south, there are Alligator Reef, Sombrero Key Reef, American Shoal, Sand Key, and Key West. There are even more lighthouses as you continue to travel west to the Dry Tortugas. Most are still in operation today, but others, like the lighthouse in Key West, have been converted to museums. So, if you're interested in the history of old Florida, make sure you take time to visit these treasures. When it comes to sail fishing, bait is probably the most important part of being successful. The bait needs to be strong and energetic and when placed in the water, it creates a lot of commotion. Now I avoid any baits with missing scales or any red color. A lot of the teams will catch baits weeks ahead of time. This is called seasoning the baits. 
These baits are stored in bait pens at marinas or in a friend's backyard. There's a lot of science that goes along with keeping these baits alive. The positive to this is that the baits get fed, they don't have to worry about predators, and they don't use a lot of energy, which makes them grow fat and happy. They almost seem to get used to people, and I can tell you firsthand that when you put a seasoned bait on that you've been feeding on your line, there is a big difference. They create a lot of attention, which draws a lot of interest to your kite spread. Now, goggle eyes and threadfin herring are the most common, but if you are lucky, you may have a sardine certain times of the year. Dipping baits out of your pens one at a time is of the utmost importance. Two baits in the net can knock into one another, knocking scales off. A good shallow mesh net makes this job really easy. Live ballyhoo can be a good bait for sailfish in the Florida Keys. Now speaking of ballyhoo, I'm sure you know someone that has caught a big dolphin on a ballyhoo. Dolphin tournaments in the Florida Keys are very popular both with professional and recreational anglers. These tournaments are all about big fish or a combo of big fish. Most teams use live and dead bait. Fresh dead ballyhoo are a must for trolling. They are rigged with a copper wire called a pin rig. This wire is pushed in and out of the eye sockets of the ballyhoo, finishing up wrapping the wire around the ballyhoo's bill, holding the leader in place. Now Randy likes to use 60 pound suffix. He also prefers a VMC J hook instead of a circle hook. Dolphin are famous for jumping off circle hooks. They also sometimes add a rubber skirt. I, myself, I like to fish a ballyhoo naked with nothing but just the hook. Now, that's the ballyhoo guys that is naked, not me. Remember those weed lines that you're also offshore looking for? Hold live baits, and a small jack or a blue runner can be deadly for catching a big dolphin. Coming up next, we're going to the middle part of the Keys to catch some big dolphin. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Power Pole. Swift, silent, secure. Contender boats, always in the game. CCA and Building Conservation Trust, partners in conservation. Casa Vieja Lodge, five-star angling in beautiful Guatemala. FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. And Suffix, always use the best line. It's one of the most ancient forms of hide-and-seek known to man. And nobody knows how to play the fishing game better than the backcountry guides and offshore captains of the Florida Keys and Key West. Ready or not, here we come. Remember the glory days of gasoline? It's just not made the same anymore. Kick your gas into gear with StarTron. Pump up the performance in all of your engines. Cure the problems of ethanol with the power of enzymes. And maximize your mileage every time you drive. Kickstart your engines with StarTron. Yeah? Stop working right now! Look outside. Is this spreadsheet weather? No, it's not. This is fishing weather, so stop clicking, get out there, and catch a bass! Stop what you're doing and start fishing Rapala Ripstop.
So Bob, in 2013, Yamaha introduced the Helm Master. Today's world, it's a little different. Why don't you tell me about some of the new upgrades? Absolutely, Rick. Um, I think for you and I as fishermen, uh, what we've introduced now is just a phenomenal option. It's given us the ability now to stay on the structure when we're fishing. It's given us the ability to drift down a tide line or a ledge when we need to. If we have a current that's strong enough to, to try to move the boat and we want to stay in a particular location, we have another feature called Stay Point. So there are three categories that we can use the Hellmaster now to allow us to be better fishermen. So you're telling me now I can pull up to a dock, say I'm waiting on a fuel, a person to get away from the fuel dock. I can simply push a button and it's gonna hold me there? Absolutely. What I like about it is, you and you know yourself, when we tournament fish and we have to come into a weigh scale, you might have 150 boats around you all the time. And if you're in a location in a marina where there's current, you can hit stay point and it'll lock you right there and you don't have to worry about backing into someone, running into somebody with that feature. Now kite fishing is rarely popular, you know, out of these center console boats. How can we adapt uh, Helm Master to that? Absolutely, that's a good question. Um, one of the benefits of the Helm Master again is drift point. If we have a particular spot that we want to drift down kite fishing, we can turn the boat beam C and literally drift that ledge. So it allows us to either have a choice of staying in a location where we see a pot of bait, or if we have a ledge that we know bait's on, hanging on, we can drift down that ledge. Okay, so what if I want to fish a wreck? Do we have an, a, a something for that? Absolutely. If you'll notice in the background here, we have an old sunken sailboat. And I know that there's snapper under there and maybe some triple tail or something. And I can get close enough to that vessel, depending on the wind and the current, and hit stay point or fish point, and it will lock the boat down and keep us right there over that structure so we can bottom fish on it. So if you guys have any more questions about Helm Master, simply go to yamahaoutboards.com. In the month of May, we move up the Florida Keys chain to Isla Morada, where there are many dolphin tournaments. So when you head out in the morning, there's gonna be a few key things that you look for while dolphin fishing. Whether you're fishing in a tournament or possibly just recreational fishing, certainly weed lines and floating debris are key factors in finding big dolphin or just numbers of dolphin. Now the weed lines, obviously, the thicker they are, the better they are. They also hold a lot of bait, so you can keep that in mind. But more importantly, you can also look for things as you're looking for these weed lines like floating bags, maybe a bucket. Sometimes the smallest little things, a tree limb that's come off of the Caribbean during an afternoon thunderstorm that drifted north into the Gulf Stream. These are key things that uh, hold bait, and these are the things that dolphin key in on. The other thing that we like to look for is we look for rips. And when you have those rips that are loaded with flying fish, that's another place that you might want to put your trolled ballyhoo out and troll down the edge of that current rip for a short period of time. You'll know within a short period as to whether they're dolphin or there. Also, look for the man o' war birds. Now, finding a bird that's up high in the sky, he's essentially doing the same thing you're doing. He's looking for something, uh, a dolphin, a marlin, a sailfish, something to follow because the one thing that you can be assured of is the predators as they chase the flying fish up in the air, the birds can swoop down for a unsuspecting meal. Yeah, they're behind the boat. Now that Ashley's got one on, the concerns that she needs to be worried about is making sure that that fish doesn't get under the boat, get broke off on the back of the boat in a trim tab, or possibly get wrapped around the back of the boat in the Yamahas. So you gotta make sure that you don't plant your feet in the deck and not be mobile. Dolphin are fish that run all over the place. The other thing that needs to be happening is the crew needs to make sure that they have a rod ready for an additional live bait so that if they want to put one over, if Ashley's fish has one, a bigger fish with it, you got to make sure that you're ready for that. 
so many times as these smaller fish come up jumping and they're regurgitating the stuff that's in their stomach, that chums in other dolphin, which attract maybe even a big fish. So always be ready. This will help you become a better dolphin fisherman. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Ameritrail. Load, launch, relax. Maverick Boat Group, makers of premium boat brands Maverick, Hughes, and Pathfinder. Soft Science, Supreme Comfort Footwear, the American Fishing Tackle Company, any fish, any water, since 1958. And the Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. A great boating experience has the Yamaha name on it. It's your key to legendary reliability. Right now, during the Yamaha Key to Reliability sales event, purchase any qualifying Yamaha outboard and exercise your power of choice between five years of Yamaha warranty protection or up to $1,500 in Yamaha dealer credit. The key to reliability is now your key to a great deal on a Yamaha outboard. Yamaha. Reliability starts here. more in the future are brought to you by Coastal Conservation Association and AFCO. Later in the year, the contests move inshore. During the fall, the Redbone Series and the Chica All-American Tournaments lure the snowbirds back south. Jim Bokar Jr. and Rod Kaczynski with Jared, Captain Jared Rascott go fishing. Jeff Parrish fishing with Dave Emerson and Captain Chris Jones go fishing. You have the Red Bone, which is a series of tournaments ending up with the Red Bone in November. This is a tournament designed for guys who like to catch redfish and bonefish. And depending on what side of US one, you can actually have great fishing right there close to Isla Mirada. And then there's the All-American. The All-American is a tournament series of five different species. So the one thing that's really wonderful about fishing in the fall in the Florida Keys is certainly the different types of fishing that you could be exposed to. You can have tailing redfish on the flats of Everglades National Park right out front of Flamingo. You can also catch snook uh, in potholes as they follow the mullet migration that's going up and down the coast. And then you also have permit bonefish and little baby tarpon in any place that has a creeks and uh, remote areas in the back country. This is a great time of year for anybody who really loves to do flats fishing because it's a little cooler than the hot summer months and it's really a great time to go to the Florida Keys because the amount of people that are there. It's a great value to be in the Florida Keys during that time of year. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I got it. I know you're in luck when yeah. they just fall off like that. Good fish. Boy, you guys worked hard for that one. <laughs> there you go. Finally. The cool part about fishing all the any inshore tournament, it's really simple. It's nice and soft on your body. In most cases, the, the weather's calm. It's not too rough but it also allows you to fish using different types of tackle. 
You can fish fly rods for those guys that are fly fishing enthusiasts. You can fish spinning rods with artificial baits like weedless spoons or topwater plugs. Or then maybe you don't have a lot of experience fishing in either one of those categories. So you can simply bait fish a shrimp for a bonefish, a pinfish, or a small finger mullet for a snook. So remember this, whether you're new to fishing, intermediate angler, or even an expert, the Florida Keys has a tournament that is designed for all types of levels, as well as females, juniors, peewees. That's the one thing that makes the Florida Keys so cool and so special is that we have tournaments that are designed for every fishing person and their needs. Keep up with the latest Sportsman's Adventures news and events by logging into our website at sportsmansadventures.com and following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick Murphy. We head to Central Florida for our season finale where we meet up with 16-year-old freshwater phenom Lunker Louie. It's a special episode with our partners at the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission that you're not gonna wanna miss.